Hey, what's up YouTube? Alien Rides here, and today we've got the Hiley Max Speed X9 electric scooter. Now, despite its name, it's not the fastest electric scooter I've ever ridden, but it's still a pretty awesome portable commuter scooter. So let's check out some ride footage around San Francisco, and I'll tell you a little bit about the scooter. Subscribe and let's ride. So coming off the heels of Weephead and some other monster scooters, this isn't going to be as crazy, but it's going to be a lot more practical of a solution for commuting. We'll always try to do a mix of all kinds of classes of electric vehicles for you all. First, let's dive into a quick unboxing. All right guys, we just got the scooter from China. Let's see what's inside. We got a two amp charger. And we've got one of those bike tools. And we've got these nice big styrofoam blocks. I like these styrofoam blocks quite a bit actually. Generally when I open a scooter and see styrofoam blocks, usually it means it's gonna be okay. First impressions, seems pretty solid. The deck is pretty thin. I like this rear kick tail. Oh yeah, so they actually sent me the grip tape separately. And I don't know if that's typical or just because I'm getting kind of an early prototype, but we'll go ahead and put the grip tape on. All right, we've got the Hiley Max Speed X9 electric scooter. Let's go finish setting this thing up and we'll take it on a ride. So now we'll talk about some of the features of this commuter scooter and then we'll get into the performance and ride quality later. Starting with the handlebars, it's a pretty comfortable set and there's standard grips at either end. On the left, you have a standard bicycle bell as well to alert people when you're approaching. There's dual brake levers on either side with the electronic switch for motor braking as well. On the right side, it's got a pretty interesting display unit with finger throttle. It looks a bit like the mini motors display. It's got two buttons, one for power and one for the lights, and it's pretty functional. There's three different speed modes you can switch between, and it shows the battery as well as the current speed. You can also use the buttons to set various scooter settings. The handlebar height is adjustable with this lever, I ended up pulling the handlebars up quite a bit to be comfortable for me. We've got suspension in both the front and rear. The dual suspension in combination with the air-filled tires make this a pretty smooth ride. The coolest feature about the scooter is the side accent lighting. Along with the front headlights, the scooter looks great at night. It looks like two lightsabers running along the side, and it gets a lot of attention at night. Pressing the brake levers also cause the lights to blink for visibility. In the rear of the deck, you have a pretty interesting footrest. I really like these kinds of footrests since I think scooters with them are more comfortable. The deck on the max speed is a little bit short for me though, so utilizing it isn't as comfortable as other scooters, but it's a nice feature and allows me to easily do wheelies if desired. Also in the back you have a pretty standard mud guard that covers a good amount of the tire. This scooter should be pretty good for riding in wet conditions. Performance wise, the scooter is actually pretty impressive for the size and weight of it. While it only supports a single motor, it destroyed other rental scooters off the line in the city, it felt great easily pulling away from the similarly sized rental scooters. This scooter comes in a 36 volt or 48 volt configuration, and we're testing out the 48 volt version in this video. It's got about 600 watts of power to the single rear motor, and it actually feels pretty powerful for that wattage. It really pulls to get to the stated top speed of 45 kilometers per hour, or 28 miles per hour. Our actual top speed was just under that, at about 26 miles per hour. The 36 volt version is going to be a little bit slower and has about 400 watts of power. 
This model has a 15.6 amp hour battery, which gets you a stated range of about 50 kilometers. Real world range is likely about half of that. I think this is plenty of range for commuting or getting around town, but wouldn't be enough range for our long weekend group rides. One thing that I was fairly impressed by was the braking. It's got dual drum brakes and also electronic brakes. This amounts to a lot of braking power, and I feel very confident being able to brake going down some steep hills. Later on, I'll show you some footage descending California Street. The weight of the scooter comes in at about 20 kilograms or 44 pounds. It's not the lightest, but it definitely feels like a solid package. Quality wise, I think the scooter does a pretty good job. The frame feels and looks like it will last a very long time, and I was told the goal of Hiley here was to have a higher quality scooter than other scooters at the same price point. This is definitely an admirable goal in my mind, as not enough companies care about quality. For scooter comparisons, the Boosted Rev and Zero 09 or Turbo Wheel Dart might be a good comparison. Compared to the dual motor Rev, the Hiley Max Speed X9 is actually slightly faster, although it would have lower torque due to only having a single motor. The max speed is slightly lighter than the Rev, and also not as waterproofed. Compared to the Zero 09 or Turbo Wheel Dart, the max speed states the same amount of motor watts, though I did feel like the max speed outperformed at 600 watts. I think the Hylia max speed will also have a slightly larger battery as well. So this company is still in the early stages, and while you can contact them directly to purchase a unit, they're working on setting up distributors around the world. Purchasing now means you would be going direct, which is always a great way to save money, but without having a local shop that you can take your scooter to servicing for, it could make things tricky if something goes wrong. If you're handy though, this is not really a big problem. So now let's get into our scooter hill climb test at California Street. Alright guys, we are at the base of California Street and we're going to do our hill climb test and see how the single motor scooter makes it up to the top. It's only got one motor and no single motor scooter has made it up so far, but this thing's got a pretty good amount of power, so I think it should do pretty well. All right, let's see how it does. Here we go. Hill climb test up California Street. First section is pretty easy. My speedometer is in kilometers per hour, not miles per hour, so I'll have to do some translating later, but it's at 25 right now. I'll just show. This seems pretty good. All right, this next section is more steep here. Freezing up at about 18 kilometers per hour, 17, 16, 15. Keep freezing. This next section is pretty steep. Let's see what we do. Eight kilometers per hour, seven, six. I think we might have met our match. Still going though. Still going. Struggling to get up. My car, if I could probably make it up to the top. This motor does not want to give up. All right, I think we are done here. So that's all we did, but that's pretty good. That's the top over there. Overall, the braking seems pretty good. I'm okay accelerating and braking when I need to. Normally, for some of the cheaper scooters, I'm just on the brakes fully down this hill. But this one does a pretty good job stopping me. So I'm pretty happy with these brakes. That's all we got for this episode on the Hiley Max Speed X9 electric scooter. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Let's see what the top speed we get up to here is 34 kilometers an hour, 37, 40 kilometers per hour, 41, 42.
about 42 kilometers per hour with a top speed there. Not bad.